Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I am a part-time reseller on both Poshmark and eBay as well as dabbling in a few other platforms. But today I have a thread up unboxing. Here it is. Um, it's been a while since I've gotten one of these. The last shoe box I got was pretty great, um, but that one was a little bit more. I think that one was $120 versus this one is 90 and it's only 15 pairs of shoes. I have seen a few of these recently over on other people's YouTube channels and they've been a little iffy lately, so hopefully this one is good, but let's just hop right into this bad boy and open it up. Okay, so here is my invoice. It just says rescue box shoes, 15 pairs. It's $90. I had a few credits, so I paid a little bit less than this, um, but it is normally $90 on their website. And here's what the inside looks like. This box came from Mechanicsburg. I think my last one came from Arizona and that one was awesome. So hopefully this one is good too, but let's see. All right, so here's what she looks like after you take all of the tissue paper off the top. So far, not impressed, but hopefully I'll be surprised. Okay, so this first pair is called Du Monde. Not sure if you can see this. It's kind of shaded. Um, it's D-U-M-O-N-D. They do kind of feel like leather. They're like a pointed toe flat with a little bow on the front. Uh, made in Brazil. Here's the bottom with a better look at the brand. Size 7. I don't see anything anywhere that says whether they're leather or not, but they do appear to be in okay shape, I guess. There is a little bit on this toe. Not sure if you can see that, but it's a little scuffed on that toe, but otherwise they look okay. So I'll have to do some research on those. I see some boots by the other one. So these are cute. They're just like a basic boot with the Sherpa lining inside. They're just Indigo Road, which isn't anything crazy special, but that's okay. These are size seven and a half. So sadly not my size, otherwise I might wear these. Um, but the treads on the bottom look pretty good. So these should do well. There's just one scuff here on the back of this boot, but otherwise pretty nice. Okay, so these next one, I can see the brand, and it's a decent brand, but there is a big issue with these, so that's kind of disappointing, but the brand is Kate Spade. Hopefully that comes through, but most of you guys will know what the Kate Spade logo looks like, and right off the bat, it's missing this giant uh, stone on the front. This one is okay. All the stones are there. It's a cute style, kind of like a retro look. Here's another Kate Spade logo on the back. It's not gonna focus for me, I don't think. My camera is playing games with me today. Um, but yeah, this one also has a lot of damage to the toe, so these might just have to get re-donated, sadly. Oh, these look like men's. All right, so these are Calvin Klein, and they're just like a men's loafer with like an almond. I don't know if that qualifies as an almond toe. Let me know in the description box below. And they are not leather, but they are a size nine. They are called the Benton. They look to be in good shape. The bottoms are fairly clean. I'll have to do some research on those. I got excited for a minute. I thought these might be made well, but they are J. Crew, which is technically the same company. Um, I have sold the made well version of these um, a few years ago when I was first starting as a reseller, but they sold for like $80. They are genuine leather upper, so this suede. Um, they need a good suede brush, but other than that, there's just a little bit on the back and the bottoms are clean. They are a size 10, so that's a decent size. Those should do okay. Okay, next we have these Toms. They are a suede version. Here they are. 
Um, they're just a flat, not their typical toms. Here are the bottoms. They are a size women's seven. Um, they seem to be in decent, sh decent shape. Just a little bit of a suede brushing like the other ones. The toes do have a little bit of wear, but nothing too bad. Again, camera's not gonna focus, so I apologize. All right, these are fun. These are Vans, and they have like this fun floral print. And they seem to be in okay condition. There's a little bit of dirt back here. It's not gonna read on camera, and the midsoles need some cleaning up. The Vans logo on the back though is pretty worn off. Some people care about those that some people don't, and they are a size, let's see, men's seven, women's eight and a half. So these are my size, but I would not wear these. They're not my style, but someone will like these, so that's good. All right, we got some sandals. Here's what they look like. They have this little tie on the back. Feels like leather. They are Kenneth Cole, New York. Come on. Sorry, um, I tried. <laughs> they are a size nine and a half. And they are leather. The style is called the Jade. So they look to be an okay shape. This left shoe does have some spots here that I could probably clean up, but those might get me like 20 or $25. I can already tell what these are. If you know what these are, let me know in the comments down below before you hear me read it out loud. Uh, but these are Vince Camuto. They're like a cute heel, kind of like a gladiator style almost. These do feel like leather. Does it say though? Mm, I don't see that it says if it's leather or not, but they are a size eight and a half. Um, I do see why they probably rejected them. It's because most of the, you might not be able, yeah, see right here, it is separating from the inside lining, which that's okay. It doesn't really affect the wear of the shoe. And the other shoe looks to be in similar shape the bottoms are pretty clean so i can sell those all right next we have some bcbg generation i like this gold stiletto heel not very much support there just this little toe strap here it looks like they might have been like a nordstrom rack or something with this tag on the bottom they are a size eight there is a lot of red like dye transfer here on the back of the left shoe. So I'm guessing that's why they rejected them, but I might be able to clean that up. Um, I don't know if they have a style name. Yep, they're called the Rocky. And some more sandals. These are like a cork wedge. They are Clark's Artisan. I don't mind selling Clarks, so these will definitely go up for sale. They look to be in decent shape. There's not really even any footprints on the bed, so that's good. They are a size US 8. No style name, um, but cute. Ooh, I don't mind these. So these are made well. Hopefully you guys can read these labels. If not, I apologize. Um, but these are just some little like wooden shoes, wooden heels. I don't know, I'm not good at describing shoes. Um, they are six and a half, so a smaller size, but the bottoms look good. Um, these look to be leather. Yep, leather upper. 
Uh, they do have a style number, style L5989, so I could just put that in a Google search and figure out the name of these. And they're from summer of 19, so not too old of a style. And these are cute, these should do pretty well. All right, so these are Keens. They're like a waterproof hiking sandal. I have sold these a few times, but normally in like kid sizes. That's how I usually find them. These seem to be in decent shape. Um, the bottoms are a little dirty, but other than that, they look good. And they are size US 6, so another smaller size, but they should still do okay. Here's what their sizing label looks like inside. And they do have this intact on both. Sometimes that is um, torn which can make it a little bit harder to get these shoes on and off. And the Velcro all looks good. So here's what they look like. Happy with those. Those should get about $28 for me. All right, and next we have some Keds. They're all white Keds. They are quite dirty. It's not gonna read on camera too well, but like here's the back of one shoe. Um, I might try putting these in the wash. There are some marks on this side as well over here by the laces. Not sure if that'll show up for you guys. I hope it does. Um, but the bottoms seem okay. And they are size nine and a half in women's. So like a more of a platform style kid. Not terrible. Not great, um, but I will try to put these in the wash and I will report back probably on my Instagram with how these turn out. Hopefully I don't screw them up. And last but not least is a pair of decent looking, at least at first glance, Nike sneakers. Here are the bottoms. The treads appear to be in good condition. It says Nike Zoom on the bottom. So it does say on the tongue, Nike Pegasus 30. So I'm guessing that's gonna be the style name. But if you didn't know on the inside of the tongue, if you put these numbers with the dash underneath the sizing into Google, it'll tell you the colorway as well as the style name. So the back is a little bit dirty, which is the only white part, but the treads look good. So they should still move pretty quickly. And they are size US 10, so another great size. Yeah, the other shoe just has the same couple marks on the back on the white, but other than that, they're in great shape, so I'm happy with these. All right, now let's count them up. There's supposed to be 15 in here, so hopefully there is. Okay, so I did get exactly 15 pairs in this box. So that's good. Um, I like the Madewell ones, I think, the best. Those will probably do well for me. And my least favorite would probably have to be those Kate Spades because there's just extensive wear on those. And I, I do realize this is a DIY box and you know they're not supposed to be in perfect condition. Otherwise, ThreadUp would probably just sell them on their own. Um, but that was a little bit disappointing. Hopefully I can maybe just salvage something from those or squeeze a few dollars out but if you take the 90 dollars that is the cost of the box divided by the 15 pairs of shoes that's about six dollars a pair so it's roughly what i spend on shoes in my area anyways not saying that i would pick up most of these shoes most of them i would have left behind to be honest but i should be able to at least recoup the amount that i spent on the box so i guess i'm happy with that and i appreciate you guys watching hopefully this wasn't too too long of a video for you and hopefully some of those labels were able to be focused on the camera and you were able to read them clearly if not please let me know in the comments below and i will try to do better in the next one and i hope you liked it if you did give it a big thumbs up it really helps me out here on youtube and subscribe for more content in the future and i will see you in the next video bye guys